Hi, I'm Fanny uh, of Team Teacher, teaching, living, and raising a family in China. Today, I'm going to show you how to get items picked up and delivered within China. So let's check it out. So today, I'm going to show you how to use this app called uh, Tai Niao. My Chinese is probably not very good, but basically this app is blue with a bird, a white bird on it. Kind of reminds you a bit like Twitter, but anyhow, let's open it up. So the first thing you want to do is probably sign up for this app. I'm already signed up because it's already linked to my Taobao app. So the good thing is, if you already have a Taobao account, you don't really need to sign up, it'll link it. But if you don't, then you'll have to sign up. Um, just use Google Translate to help you sign up. It'll probably just ask for your name, your telephone number, and your address, all in Chinese, except for your name, of course. So the purpose of this app is that it keeps track of all the packages that you receive and you deliver out. So all of my purchases on Taobao, on Baopao's, and even actually somebody sending me uh, documents uh, from other companies, it's all on this phone. Uh, it helps me keep track of it. So the, on the home page, when you first open it up, it'll tell you what you're expecting. So I have some stuff that I'm expecting to get. And then I also have uh, a history of all the things you've received. I have received a lot of things. The ones where you don't see a picture, it's just the name of the company, they're the ones that I have sent out. So today, the purpose is not to show you what else this app does, but to show you how to get someone to come up to your door, pick up your package, and get it delivered within China. So let's start with this app. The one in the middle, that icon of a delivery man, you press that. It automatically has your address and your phone number and your everything it needs. If it's incorrect, you can always tap on it and then make any changes that you need. Mine is correct. So the second one, the orange one, is where you're sending it to. So you need the address of this person. So if you already have, this is someone you've already sent many packages to, then you can save the addresses in here. There's an address book, but if you're starting new, this is where you put it. So the first one is the name of the person you're sending it to. I have it saved on my notepad of all the information I need. This is the address, the name of the person, and their phone number. So I just copy the name and then go back to that app and put the name in. Then I copy the phone number, go back to the app, put the phone number in. Okay. Next, the one underneath that is the province, the city, and the district. So click on it, tap on it. And we are in Guangdong province. So this is all in Chinese. So uh, if you don't know what the characters for Guangdong is, pay attention. If you're in a different city, then um, make sure you know what the province character is. Have it in front of you so it's easier to use. So we're in Guangdong province, in Shenzhen city. That's the second column. And the last column is the district. This person I'm sending it to is in Longgang. So I select Longgang. And the top right button, it means to confirm. The next part is if you want to put more, uh, that's the name of the building or their street name or whatever address it is. So here, I'm gonna go and copy all of this because I wanna give as much information as I can to the delivery person in case, uh, they might not be able to find the place or whatever. The more information I find, the more information you give, the less, the better it is, so they know exactly where you're sending it to. So you just put, uh, paste it in. Yeah, it's super long. It has all the city, the district, and everything, but you know, just wanna play it safe. So next, you can 
tap on the very top right button that means to save so now this address is saved in my uh, address book so now I have uh, my address the person I'm sending it to's address and phone number this part here the next uh, one down is setting scheduling the time and date so today is already too late so if you want to get a package sent out by today you'll have to do this before 5 o'clock. It's already 5.52 so I have to schedule it for tomorrow. So I'm scheduling it for tomorrow. Mm, I get off work at 5 so I'm going to schedule it from 5 to 7 and then click tap on the blue button to confirm. The next one down is asking you what is it you're sending. Uh, the first one is everyday products. Food is the next one. Um, documents, I think this one is clothes, and electronics, and other. So I'm just going to put everyday product, because what I'm sending is just baby stuff anyways. Uh, the next one is, is asking if you want insurance. If you're sending something that's really expensive, maybe it's a good idea to have insurance, but most of the time I'm just sending things that are not very expensive so I just forget that uh, and then the following on the bottom is if you want to leave any kind of message for the for the pickup delivery person like this is a fragile item or this needs to be delivered any special request you use this one and it already has some um, often used ones or you can put your own I don't have any special instructions so I'm going to skip that. So now the next part is here. This gives you an estimate of how much it is. You can see here in the orange that it's about $8 but this is only within 1 kilograms. So let me put this down for a minute. I'm going to show you if you have something like this a to weigh your product. This one's a digital one and this one's an analog one. I'm going to use the digital one because it's easier. The good thing is that you don't have to package your products, so I just put everything that I want to get sent in a bag. And I'm going to weigh it to see how much it weighs. This is only 0.92 kilograms, so that's within 1 kg. So I don't have to charge more than $8. So. You can click on more if it is and it'll tell you how much it is. That's only the estimate. You don't actually pay yet. This is just the estimate. When the person picks it up, then they'll, uh, and when they start to send it off, they'll tell you how much it is. You can use this app to pay as well. Or sometimes um, you can pay the delivery person by scanning a code or whatever. So now, now that I've got this done, Check all your information to see, make sure it's correct. Your name, your address, your phone number, their name, their address, their phone number. What time you're gonna pick? Uh, you want to be your product to be picked up? What kind is it? Do you want insurance? Any special requests? And how much it is? So oftentimes, if I'm sending it to somebody who is going to pay for shipping, I'll just screenshot this uh, this page and I'll send it to them. So now I'm going to press this blue button, it means to put the order down. And it'll tell you what the process is for everything. It's all in Chinese, so you can just skip it and then just press the other green button. So now this is a confirmation page saying that you've already succeeded in booking your package delivery. and this blue highlighted one is the number of your order. All right, and that's it. If you have made any mistakes, uh, you can always cancel the order by pressing this button up here. And this one is, I want to cancel. This one is, wait a minute. So I'm gonna cancel this one and it'll tell you uh, I'll ask you why did you cancel? Uh, the first one is I did it wrong. I don't want to send anymore. 
there's something wrong. Yeah, I don't want to wait because uh, you want to use a different uh, delivery service. And then just press the green button. And they'll just tell you. All right. So once you receive, uh, once you have the confirmation, you'll get actually a confirmation code. This code is four digits. I'll show you one that I have received in the past. It's all in Chinese, but the, the number you want to look at is here. It also tells you the name of the person and their phone number, but you want to keep track of the confirmation code because when they pick it up, they will uh, ask you for the confirmation code. And that's it. And uh, next, we will have the person pick it up for us. And the best part is that they come to our door and picks it up. So we don't have to package it ourselves. And don't forget, if you like my video today, don't forget to subscribe to us and we'll put more videos that you like. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to comment below. Alright, I hope this has been useful. Bye!